No servers, no backend, no frameworks, no nothing. Just Gemini and Cloudflare. Now, this was all made with Lovable, at least the front end. It's vibe coding, AI coding, pretty self-explanatory code with AI. Put in a prompt, it codes it. So, this is what I asked it to code. Plain CLI. Type what you want in plain language, get the command you need. Simple as that. And you have options on how you would want to interact with the interface and the AI. Plain CLI can use AI to translate complex commands, choose your preferred method, proxy service, which is my Gemini, or your own Gemini API key, or offline, which is just the built-in command library. So we can use the proxy service, which is the Gemini API. Right now I was using my own Gemini API key, but now we're gonna use the backend Gemini API key. So we're gonna type in a command. So AI generator response, this command was generated by AI. Please verify it matches your intended action before executing. And we can validate it. Pops up with a security score, eight out of 10 assessment. The commands cat and type are generally safe for viewing file contents, yes. And the recommendation, sanitize file names to prevent command injection. Be mindful of large files. Just some security checks you can go through. And it types out the command to read a file, cat file name text. And it shows the output and the explanation. The user wants to view the contents of the file. The cat command on Linux slash Mac OS and type command on Windows displays the file's contents. So you have the Linux, Windows, and Mac. And you can copy the command, paste it straight to your command line, and run it with ample verification, of course. So how did I make this? Let me tell you. Uh, the help of someone who knows APIs and web dev and all of that stuff a lot more than I do, but I learned, I implemented, and I'm just going to replicate it. And then you can do the same if you want with your own app. So this is what you are going to prompt lovable or whatever AI dev tool you're using. And this is just saying only post request allowed. So you send this in your prompt. Um, the AI handles it, says, okay, only post request allowed, uh, things of that nature. And you are also going to prompt whatever the app is. So this one, you are a helpful assistant that converts plain English into command line instructions for Linux, Windows, and Mac OS. Respond in strict JSON format. And then this is the format that it will respond in. So prompting it to accept post requests and responding in JSON format. You're also gonna need a Gemini API key. Lots of uh, APIs in the Google Cloud Library, apps for your native Android app, iOS app, website, image content analysis, text-to-speech. So lots of options going on here. But what we are gonna do is the Gemini API. And this is on Google AI Studio for the Gemini API. As you see on the top, you can click get API key, get your own API key, have it interact with the app. So you generate your Gemini API key that way. So you have your Gemini API key. You have your app that AI has built for front end stuff. How do you integrate them? Well, let me tell you, via Cloudflare workers and pages, build and deploy serverless functions, sites, and full stack applications. So this is the one that I have for the site right now. If you visit it, there's nothing there because I disabled it, but it would bring you to a web page which you are about to see. So what are Cloudflare workers? A serverless platform for building, deploying, and scaling apps across Cloudflare's global network with a single command, no infrastructure to manage, no complex configurations. Deliver fast performance, build full stack apps with frameworks of your choice, which we already built the front end, AKA AI built the front end. You should prefer language, gain deep visibility, get started for free and grow with flexible pricing. So you can build front end applications, back end applications, serverless AI inference and background jobs. So we're gonna go up here, add workers, and then we are going to start with hello world. So this is the code to start with this. This is the name. Crimson Frog, sure, 
code is cool, then we click deploy down here. Now we are going to edit the code. Then we're just going to delete. And then we're just going to delete the hello world code and then paste this code. So it has our only post request allowed, parsing JSON output, from Gemini to return only clean JSON output. And then you're calling the Gemini API right here. Strip markdown code blocks or noise and boom. This CNV Gemini API key, you need to import that into Cloudflare. So we're going to deploy this. And this is just the worker dashboard. We're going to go to settings, variables and secrets. And then here, you're just going to add your Gemini API key. So to integrate this Cloudflare worker into your app, you're going to prompt the AI this code right here. So for this one, you're fetching the Cloudflare prompts and then just put in whatever. It doesn't matter. And then that is how you get this. Granted, this is a really roundabout way to show your IP, but I guess it does the job. And it has a 7 out of 10 security score. Yay. And for the Cloudflare worker, when you go to the URL, this is what you see in the back end. Only post requests allowed. Now, you do need the pro version of Gemini AI. You need to pay for it to actually have this work. The proxied AI in the app is paid, but my... Gemini API is free. So just if you want to integrate this with your app, you will need to pay for Gemini AI and Google Cloud stuff. But that is just how you would set it up if you had the paid version. So if you want to build your own app and connect Gemini and proxy it through Cloudflare, that way no one can really see your API keys, everything's a lot more safer, very controlled usage and rate limiting, and a good fallback if Gemini fails. So you just proxy everything through Cloudflare and it is safer. So make sure to like, subscribe, punch all the buttons in the face, and I will see you in the next video.